Mr. Kengwa, good afternoon to you. So why were you so opposed to Indian and white-owned funeral parlors operating in townships and rural areas in KZN? Uh, good evening to you and uh, viewers at home. Um, one would like to uh, say uh, or state this uh, categorically clear that we are not uh, totally uh, opposing the uh, operations of whites and Indians uh, in the township. It came as a result of us being uh, isolated uh, from operating in the industry. It was just uh, us giving them the taste of their own medicine. What do you mean you became isolated and you were giving them a taste of their own medicine? What did they do? Um, the, the situation in the industry was not friendly to uh, black and uh, small upcoming funeral in the, uh, 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 practitioners. So um, they had placed so many laws that were restricting us in operating uh, or practicing as normally as we used to before. Uh, likewise, uh, just now they've passed a, a bill that says uh, we as uh, funeral practitioners are not allowed to collect premiums uh, from the public or even sell our product to the public. So this will be the end of us. There's a new bill that is being discussed. Uh, the bill is on the table. It's called a uh, coffee bill that uh, seeks to uh, undermine us and isolate us totally in the uh, funeral industry. And once again, as the National Funeral Practitioners Association of South Africa, we won't take this lying down. We will fight with all that we have. What do you say to people who are listening to this conversation who will take the argument that if there is a set of rules in an industry and you wish to enter that market and operate, you should abide by those instead of targeting people who are complying? We abide by all the rules in the industry. Uh, listen, the, the situation here is, is that they want to be the masters and the only players of the industry. Uh, by so doing, they uh, come up or collude uh, with the government and pass rules that they know that we are not able to operate under. So uh, it's, 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 it's just a situation. We as black uh, practitioners, we comply with all the rules, but you can't be developing rules as you go. Every day is a new rule. We can't operate like that. A rule is a rule. A rule should stay there and a rule should be followed by everyone uh, who's uh, uh, practicing in the industry. You've now got a situation where the Equality Court has said that the Indian and white-owned funeral parlors should not be prevented by yourselves from operating in townships and rural areas. I don't imagine that this judgment then resolves the issues that you have at policy level. So what's going to happen now that you can't intimidate them or force them out of townships and rural areas? In fact, what the court has, 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 has ruled on, it's something that's ended. It was a campaign that we had last year. The campaign ended last year because we got everything that we wanted. All we wanted was a space, a free and fair environment of which everyone uh, or every player can play in the, in the industry. Not that others are supposed to be able to work and others are not. Let me give you an example. There was a, a tender panel which was given to these uh, big companies, uh, uh, predominantly white and Indians, uh, by the Road Accident Fund. And we were not able or allowed to bury anyone uh, uh, who dies as a result of a road accident. We were fighting those, and that uh, uh, rule or the law or the tender uh, panel that was created has been abolished. Uh, so as many other uh, rules that they were coming uh, uh, with uh, 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 just to ensure that they isolate us. As I'm saying, the coffee bill that is being uh, uh, discussed right now seeks to undermine all black small businesses that are trying uh, uh, to rise in the industry. Uh, it ensures that it becomes the end of us. We are not able to, to work in the industry anymore. So we are going to fight it. Whether we use the similar methods as last year 
or we, we have a different approach. But if you ask me, if we have to do what we did last year, we'll do it over again, irrespective of what the court judgment is. But we if we cannot allow a situation whereby we, as a, a black small funeral uh, practitioners, are isolated mm. from practicing in the industry. We are out of time, Mr. Lengwa, but I want to get this in here. If you're saying that you're going to go back to this campaign of preventing the white and Indian-owned funeral parlors from operating in these set areas, the townships and the rural areas, if you go against that decision by the court, you'll be in violation of the law. So surely you cannot be encouraging your members to break the law? Uh, look, should the coffee bill isolate us, why must we fold our arms? We're not. We are going to stop them if the coffee bills uh, seek to uh, uh, stop us from operating. We are not criminals. We are not thugs. We are people, business people who only want to operate in the funeral space. In Deben and, and some areas, there are no symmetries. We've been talking to uh, our uh, municipality in Deben for quite some time, from 2015. So our decision right now is that we are going to go out and anywhere we see a space, we will be digging graves so that people are able to bury their loved ones. Not all of us want to cremate. We've been talking about this simply because it's a black, uh, 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 affect, affected a, a, a race. This is why our government is not listening. Mr. Kemba, allow me to that come the in here. To us. Uh, if, and forgive me for speaking over you. Allow me to come in here. Why not challenge the coffee bill that you're talking about at legislative level where law is indeed decided instead of going after individual operators? Look, um, if you were listening to me, I said we are on uh, 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 challenging the coffee bill. And there are discussions that are going. We are making our submissions uh, to the national treasurer. But what we are saying is if the national treasurer is not willing to listen to us and seek to isolate us totally in the industry, uh, they will get what is coming. We are not going to uh, take this lying down. Okay, Muzi Klengwa, speaking to us from our Durban studios, thank you.